Item number, SCP-793. Object class, Euclid. Zone of denial, current, 13.4 meters. Special containment procedures. SCP-793 is to be marked with stakes marking the perimeter of the zone of denial. A base distance of 13.4 meters from each side of the medicinal center is to be marked as the zone of denial, with a second perimeter extending the zone of denial out an extra 50 meters to be regarded as the restricted zone. Signs placed on the perimeter of the zone of denial must state no unauthorized entrance in the following languages. English, French, Swahili, Luba Kasai, Kikongo, and Luganda. When testing, access is to be restricted to Class Ds. No other Foundation personnel are to be allowed entrance. The future installation of security cameras around the hospital is a possibility. Description SCP-793 is described as a hyper-reproductive paranormal variation of human Congo trypanosomiasis, a parasitic protozoa, also known as the African Sleeping Sickness, inhabiting the abandoned medicinal center located in Data Expunged, built by missionaries in 18... SCP-793's first known appearance was documented in 19... The hospital was subsequently relinquished from use years after, due to exponential growth of SCP-793, but it was never demolished, due to superstitions the populace and prominent and tribes held. In 19... The hospital was secured by the Foundation. SCP-793, in its passive form, does not appear to exist, unless a suitable human host enters the Zone of Denial, ZOD, which is currently estimated to be 13.4 meters from any point around the hospital. When a human enters the Zone of Denial, the organism will appear spontaneously inside the human circulatory system. Unlike a normal form of trypanosomiasis, which has a limited rate of reproduction, the reproductive rate of SCP-793 increases proportionally to the subject's distance into the ZOD, e.g. When a subject is at the edge of the ZOD, SCP-793 will reproduce at roughly 5% the speed of human Congo trypanosomiasis. But once inside the hospital, where reproductive capability is at a constant, SCP-793 cells will reproduce at roughly 400% the speed of their cousin. Symptoms appear to be dissimilar to those of normal Congo trypanosomiasis, with a notable increase in hysteria and swelling of the lymph nodes. The opposite occurs when a subject leaves the ZOD. The reproductive rate decreases, and parasites will spontaneously disappear, with no visible signs of cell death. Somatic cells whose deaths can be attributed to SCP-793 will appear as if origination suddenly occurs, not as of the result of general somatic mitosis. The symptoms will fade to those of earlier stages, from the neurological phase going to the hemolymphatic stage, etc., until there are no signs of the protist existing when a human victim exits the ZOD. One final note about possible human death as the result of SCP-793's actions. The reversal effects reverse victim death completely. Once the deceased are rescued from the maximum reproductive zone, somatic cells appear immediately, and any remaining instances of SCP-793 disappear. Upon the so-called undeath, individuals often recall extreme pain due to the reconstruction of their body, mostly regarded as something along the lines of thousands of knives piercing their body and have no recollection of ever entering the Zone of Denial or any knowledge of SCP-793. SCP-793's reversal effects only regard any damage it causes a human. Bodies whose deaths are attributed to other causes, such as normal human Congo trypanosomiasis, will not be affected. SCP-793 does not appear on anything that is not living human tissue. 
Appearance of SCP-793 does occur on partial entrance of a human to the zone of denial, and is limited to the fraction of the human that is in the zone of denial. Items brought out of the hospital have no unique effect attached to them. Addendum SCP-793 XOJ-1 Regarding site demolition of SCP-793 via as suggested by Dr. William Hunt and Chong Meng, Ph.D. Date and time. Data expunged. The Medicinal Center, otherwise known as the residence of the infamous SCP-793 specimen, was subject to the possibility of sterilization. Proposals generally suggested a wide variety of explosive materials, typically based compounds. Controversy over the destruction of Euclid-class specimens has always been a major topic of discussion within the Foundation. The general consensus about the termination of SCP-793 is one of concern. Most Foundation personnel suggest the continued containment of SCP-793, despite continued controversy over the topic. The details for the defense of continued containment procedures are as follows. A. SCP-793 really poses no real threat. No permanent death has occurred from the actions of a ghost trypanosomiasis. B. The hospital's architectural structure appears to be continually sturdy and shows no signs of serious decay, suggesting structural invulnerability. We don't think this should be tested. At least, not yet. C. As reference to the consensus, we have no knowledge of what would happen on attempted destruction of the hospital. D. Angering of the close-by tribes in the area. We also would like to discuss possible reclassification of SCP-793 from Euclid to SAFE. Addendum SCP-793 OR-51 Regarding Zone of Denial Fluctuation Reported by Mark Fulu via email Note, as Mark Fulu had limited grasp of English, his messages were edited to be more understandable. It seems that a few of the tests into Zone of Denial have found that the boundary is far further away than what it was used to be. Not know what do. I don't know what to do about this. Date and time. Data temporarily expunged until investigation. Help. I not know what to do. The thing, the zone of denial, keeps changing. Date and time. Data temporarily expunged until investigation. Please help. It, the zone of denial, is growing bigger and bigger and bigger now. Date and time. Data temporarily expunged until investigation. Other similar messages from Mark Fulu and other personnel stationed in the area has brought intrigued investigation by Foundation assets in North America. Confirmation of Zone of Denial Distance Fluctuation is currently pending. Lesson Complete If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-792, The Body Farm, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.